Hello students, a very warm welcome to my genetics classes. Today we will discuss a very important and interesting topic in genetics. We will be talking about self sterility in plants or this is also known as self incompatibility in plants. Okay. Before we start, if you like my videos, if you like the way I teach, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's start with our topic. Our topic for today's discussion is self incompatibility in Nicotiana. Nicotiana means our tobacco plant, right? Okay. Take a pen now. So what is self sterility? Self sterility means that the pollen from a plant is unable to germinate on its own stigma. See, if I just draw a rough diagram of a gynecium, you'll understand better. This is what? This is the stigma. This is the ovary. This is the style. This you know, isn't it? Stigma. Style. And ovary. This is something you know. I'll just magnify the diagram a little. So that it becomes... Easier for me to draw and easier for you to understand. Right, I'll use a different color for pollen. C. The pollens land on the stigma. Right, normally what happens? The, then they grow like this. Pollen tube germinate like this in which the tube nucleus, the generative nucleus, all those things, I'm not getting into those details. It will germinate and finally it will reach the embryo sac where you know the egg apparatus is there. I mean the antipodal cells, the synergids at the two sides and in the center you'll have the egg cell and in the middle like in the orientation of the embryo sac, you all know, isn't it? Here you will have that central cell with which one nuclei fuse to form 3N or endosperm, triploid endo endosperm. You have antipodal cells. You have two synergids and one egg cell. This is the orientation of the embryo sac. These are the things that you know. So, the male nucleus can only come to this uh, egg if and only if it is compatible. If this pollen tube germination occur, then only male nucleus will, male nuclei will come to the female nucleus to form zygote, right? So what did I say here? See, Self-sterility means that pollen from a plant is unable. The pollen is unable to germinate on its own stigma and will not be able to bring about fertilization. See, if this growth is not taking place, how will the nuclei travel to the egg and fertilize the egg to form a diploid zygote? Isn't it? It's very simple. So if and only if the pollen that comes and sits on the stigma grow, then only fertilization will occur and 2N zygote will result. Okay. So if pollen tube germination is not taking place, what will happen? There is no fertilization in the ovules of the same plant. Okay. This is very simple. Now see. East. This eminent scientist observed multiple alleles in Nicotiana. 
which are responsible for self incompatibility or self sterility. The gene for self incompatibility can be designated as S sterility. So, as you can remember this like this S, right? It's looking unhealthy. Okay. Which has allelic series S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. Hmm. S1 through Five. This you remember. Just designated like that. Now see here. Very easy diagram. This is what I was just drawing. This is the stigma. This is the style. This is the pollen tube, and this is the ovary, right? Now see when pollen lands on this. If the if the allelic form is S three here. and S4 here and the allelic form here is S1 and S2. Then, then there is no incompatibility. That means it is compatible. Compatible. See, pollen tube is Growing. This is your pollen tube. Pollen tube is growing. Here you see, if a pollen comes whose composition, whose allele is S1 and another comes whose allele is S3, what happens? This one will grow because this is not matching with this. But this one will not grow. This will not grow. Why? Because this S1 is matching with this S1. Okay. And here you see S1, S2. Here also S1, S2. So none of them will grow. That means what? What is the key sentence that you need to remember? If they are similar, there is complete incompatibility or self-sterility. Just this is one trick I'm telling you. S for similarity, similar, similarity. Let us see. This is similar. This is similar. And S also for sterility. So, so you remember that if similar, combination is seen, then sterility is there. If dissimilar, then sterility is not there. It will germinate to grow. Okay. The cross-fertilizing tobacco plants were not always homozygous, right? They're not always homozygous as S1, S1 or S2, S2 like that. But all plants were heterozygous as S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6 or like uh, S1, S5, S1, S3, S5, S2, like this. It, it, it goes on like this. S3, S6, okay. They are all heterozygous. Got it? When crosses were made between different S1, S2 plants, the pollen tube did not develop normally. But effective pollen tube development was Observed when crossing was made with other than S1, S2, for example, S3, S4. So, what did what is the meaning of this line when crosses were made between different S1, S2? Suppose S1, S2 is being crossed with S1, S2. What is the net result? Sterility. Because they are similar. What did I say? Similar sterility ss that combination you just keep in mind you'll never forget but here you see it is different s1 s2 s3 s4 so there are chances of of pollen tube germination see here s1 s2 here s1 s2 here it is s4 s3 s4 
see both have grown correct here you see s1 s2 s1 s4 here it is not growing here it is growing why because s2 is not here s2 is not found here no match is there it is semi okay here you see s1 s2 s1 s2 both are matching no growth of pollen tube right so this is the easiest and shortest topic where concept clearing is very very easy got it so this is how we come to the end of our topic thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel and in case you have any confusion any doubt anywhere please feel free to get back to me till then stay tuned thank you and goodbye